Aloha. I wanted to do a quick video and explain kind of like the styles of interaction that are going on that relate directly to our levels of consciousness and our organic evolution um, both individually and collectively and how it's being manipulated by um, so many different layers and levels of our um, our ideas of ourselves our ideas of a society and our ideas of family um, movement and consciousness as a whole pretty much and um, starting on the ad hominem definition of uh, of an argument or reaction directed against a person rather than the position they are maintaining so this is the one example of the styles of approach that the politics are based on um, uh, the the overall system is based on like YouTube politics all this stuff when people are getting on comments and stuff talking about like oh well you know that there, there's no real proof for the flat earth there's no real proof for the globe earth the globe model people are excuse me the globe model people are regurgitating NASA and they have all of their information is based upon NASA as a whole and uh, even stuff with the uh, like all their CGI images all that stuff that's out there it comes from there's in there's a source is what I'm saying there's a source of this information where are you getting your information from instead of just being open to uh, information and the under the awareness of uh, information as a whole we get locked into these styles of interaction that um, sometimes stay with us all the way from elementary school um, down all the way through high school some people still have that high school mentality that high school interactive space that clicky mentality or that uh, the self-defense mechanisms that are ingrained from how we were treated in high school and all that. and when people get online they they feel that they can uh, kind of um, get back at people <laughs> from certain ways subconsciously uh, by going on the comment sections or going on to um, other people's video or, or chat rooms and all kinds of stuff and and really just living out what um, these various layers of interactions are about and uh, they didn't get to do this a lot of the time so this is a level of, I'm speaking in reference to the level of consciousness that gets uh, manipulated with then the biggest the biggest um, manipulation is like the political scene right now that has led all the way up to <clears throat> things like the military industrial complex and the prison industrial complex um, they never really go to the pinnacle of the central points of these issues. They speak only in reference to um, the um, the name calling space or um, responding to the tone or a contradiction or a counter argument that's based upon um, information that is not even. Um, it's a theory, like the within the flat Earth stuff. There's theories upon theories, uh, and for the globe model, there's there's CGI images, and you're basically just trusting the ego of the artificial intelligence grid, which is the university system, and the school system as a public education system, the the political system, and these scientists who scientists who have these degrees. Um, the science that is a today is a science scientism. It's a it's it's no different than a a religion. Just like the political scene is um, polit politicism. It's a it's a church. Like when you're going to these church these rallies, you're going to church. You're gonna listen to like when you're listening to Obama, you're listening to a pastor. He's a preacher getting you to believe in a system but it's no different than God like a uh, believe in Jesus 
um, like the, the, the White House is the political Jesus. Like the, the president is this political um, this political preacher to make you believe in the the Constitution and all this other stuff. And this is where Alex Jones and how they they have all these different um groups play against each other like this is why black lives matter is out there right now this is why we have a black president right now this is why trump is out there right now this is why hillary out there the first woman president uh candidate is out there right now why the financial system is collapsing right now why people are questioning whether the the earth is uh flat or a globe right now uh, this Mandela effect stuff is happening right now is because um, there are these these layers of <sighs> there's an organic evolution that is happening that is um, on a time circuit on a space of expansion that is beyond at least the the everyday um, reality is like the, the way the university system is designed right now uh, not they're not really tapped into the understandings of like what's really going on here in consciousness as a whole because their layers of consciousness are based upon uh, like the Iron Age reality, not to mention the fact that the university system and all that shit just stole everything. They just destroyed so many um, ancient cultures and ancient understanding who are who are deep into the understandings of uh, consciousness as a whole, humanity, the relationship between uh, human, the human and uh, the earth plane and the humans and each other as a whole like this whole thing was out there and then and we were telling the stories in indigenous indigenous cultures and the mayan cultures all the way to the egyptian cultures to uh um all over the world there were stories these ancient stories you can see they're telling the same story they have been telling the same story um and it, what gets lost in the sauce is the interpretation. The interpretation brings out these um, these uh, these gaps that get filled in with an artificial intelligence that has created the university system today, which is where we're at right now. Um, worshipping pretty much the gaps. Worshipping the the counter arguments the contradictions of <clears throat> the ego basically it's the it's the egoic version of reality uh, the artificial intelligence completely separating itself from creative intelligence uh, the natural organic space to um, have itself be as like the god and then you have these demigods out here these celebrities scientists um pol politicians out here to distract you from your ultimate power your ultimate connections um your collective consciousness as a whole by keeping you away from the central points of expression keeping you away from understanding what is the point here what are we really talking about and since there is there there are so many different points that are out there like the university system has its points they have its limitations the political system has its points and it has its limitations uh, the school system the I individuals that speak upon that have stuff they won't talk about and then if they get challenged within their level of consciousness wherever they fit in within like this pyramid then they will uh start to instead of instead of expanding and understanding the next layer up of 
uh, interaction, they will usually go down. Um, so this is where the Neil deGrasse Tyson comes in um, when he was dropping the mic uh, and when he was trying to demonstrate gravity. <laughs> so uh, their usual their usual interactions are to uh, bunk the, bu um, bulk themselves up as like, well, this is just how it is. There's no questioning. You can't contradict this. There's no counter arguments. There's no refuting this. This is ultimate truth. They're talking about scientism and NASA and all these theories upon theories. Um, that is their central point. They, they themselves have made themselves out to be the central point. Not true understanding, not being open to, uh, which is what the scientific method is really all about, like the true trueness of it is a constant um, questioning of the reality. They come completely throw that out of the window um, and don't and, and made themselves out to be the central point. So in order to back that up, the ego has to go all the way back down to the, the bottom of the pyramid where the elementary school uh, interaction space is uh, and name calling. So this is where Neil deGrasse Tyson was coming out talking about all that stuff. Uh, and the same thing goes on in, in all these different layers of interactions on YouTube and even how these particular channels are out there. They don't really talk about a lot of things because they don't want to shake up their foundation. They don't want to go into another another central, a deeper central point. They don't want to challenge their reality, their their pyramids, their um, their their pillars, um, because they'll lose they'll lose whatever their egos have created for themselves. So. Um, once we get into these these channels that are calling themselves truth channels and all this other stuff, and then they just start repeating the the same styles of approach, the same systems that the control grid itself is uh, designed upon, then you're you're pretty much you've lost you've lost your point. You've lost your there is no point anymore. Uh, so like um. When uh, somebody writes a comment on there, on on like my video, for example, like this happened to me, like a big YouTube channel commented on my on my video, and then I uh, expanded that comment to uh, include a, my perspective that my channel would comment with, because I've made multiple videos from that perspective. When I put that out there on that comment and then that channel deletes the comment it's because I hit a central point that is not comfortable for that individual channel this is a big YouTube channel too and I'm tired of referencing um, um, individuals now so I'm speaking so the people who watch my videos they know who and what I'm talking about but um, Anyway, my point being is that once you step into an expanded space of many central points, many perspectives that are all encompassing, you're actually challenging uh, the individuals who have built this castle. They've built a castle of comfort for themselves to have all these people come and visit and be a part of this castle. Um, and you're basically... Uh, challenging everything that they that they're comfortable with and it's not it's not um comfortable <laughs> it's uh but the point is that it's basically just the same as the political scene it's the same as the politicians university system as a whole it's the same style and mostly everybody on the comment section uh, fits somewhere in between in where they're they're either having to contradict you they have a counter argument and their counter arguments based upon you know something that somebody else said or somebody else like every everybody who is counter arguing the flat earth is 
basing their counter arguments on theories that NASA threw out there. Period. End of story. There's nobody that has a fucking proof for the globe. Everybody's counter argument is based upon NASA, which is largely Nazi, Nazi mentalities and the control grid as a whole. And everybody who is um, going into refuting because of mistakes that are within or, or, or like uh, like just same thing for the flat earth stuff. Nobody really has proofs of anything. We can just observe from our reality, uh, just our basic observations um, and then share information, which is more streamlined, which is why I speak more on the flat earth stuff is because it's based upon just a, a, <clears throat> a basic observation not relying on um, these big systems like like CERN and the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is uh, a thing that many people are seeing that exists. And for it to be refuted um, because of, basically because of people's egos like they want to just say oh it doesn't exist or this is that like it used to be that of course there are some things that are going to interact with I mean, we're talking about memory here we're talking about consciousness i don't even know exactly what we're talking about overall when you talk about the mandela effect because it's so um it's still being understood it's still evolve. it's still evolving um within our understanding and um, I really feel like we're only seeing the 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 cream, like this is the 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 icing on the cake. This is just an example of something else that's deeper than this, and, and involved in a deeper shift. Um, and uh, so basically, it, that kind of leads into what I was um, wanting to talk about next, because this this is basically an example of how this pyramid is an example of how um, the distraction grid the the university system grid the the scientism individuals the political individuals they just have to stay within their egoic spaces even the the youtube channels who are just like i don't want to talk about anything else let's just talk about this nothing else this is what it's about as long as we talk about this then that's fine like there's a problem with that because you're just repeating the same patterns uh, that led up to the control grid as a whole. That's all I'm saying is why I challenge a lot of these YouTube channels who just talk about only th only one thing. Like it, if you don't go into uh, speaking about other things, um, and <clears throat> not not specifically people who only talk about one thing and they, there's a style like I'm not talking about people who have their style I'm talking about people who are open to talking about other things and then they don't talk about other things they specifically stay on one version or they talk about truth and all this other stuff where the truth is a lot more expansive than the flat earth the truth is more expansive than politics and the new world order and all that other stuff the truth goes a lot deeper it goes into like alex jones truth is only it maxes out at the constitution um the civil war uh race relations politics that's his truth that's where he is out there to keep that old americana understanding that whole shit um the flat earth truth maxes out at the scientific observations of our this is in reference to the flat so-called flat earth community the flat earth truth um, is comfortable with basically just talking about the, the 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 basic observations the scientific observations and never really going into the actual human storyline of the the groups that existed here who are already understanding that like the they like to use all these images from the Mayan cosmology and the Navajo cosmology, the Inca cosmology. They don't really want to go into understanding 
what those civilizations like their creation myth they talk about oh this is a the flat earth connects us with our creator and we can see a creative intelligence and all this other stuff and they use the images like the the, the mayan cosmology um image <clears throat> but never really want to go into what they already understood so that's a separation right there in itself it's really fucked up because you're just picking and choosing uh, what you want to use the, to benefit your your particular comfort zone, and it's basically b barrels um, narrows down to the level of consciousness. <clears throat> but when it gets expanded into like a celebration of like, oh yeah, I I I, I, I I'm a truther, or I I know all this other stuff, and not really respecting what was already here before then. Uh, before now, um, then you're just creating another another story, another um, another book to read to people, and another to keep people in a box. It's another version of the control grid. It's the same shit. So when people talk about psyops and shields and all that other stuff, <clears throat> psyops are really happening largely <clears throat> excuse me jeez psyops are really happening largely um without people really knowing it um like people are uh, the 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 larger psyops are happening where they get amplified by um other other uh, motives and um don't really know what they're doing because what they're doing is is needed right now but what they're doing exists within a level of consciousness that um is not really understanding the next layer of consciousness that exists to be able to speak on this stuff and where and which is the reason why I started to make some videos re in the recent times because I've been researching flat earth stuff for over a, it's been over a year now um it seems like May of last year is when I, or June of last year yeah when I started it's like May or something of last year when I actually started and started sharing stuff um at least my first video <clears throat> but um so I've been aware of this so-called flat earth community for some time now. And when it gets to a certain point of, okay, you know, like there's enough out there to start to expand. If you don't expand, then you are more part of the problem than you are part of the, the, um, the expanding of this information. Um, so whether they know it or not, whether they are shills like paid opposition or whatever it is or not, that shit really doesn't matter because there are still individuals that can be held accountable individually, um, which is why I do what I do a lot of the times um, to basically just open the door of, hey, uh, whether you're paid or not, I'm going to say this shit because uh, this exists and I'm going to approach you as if you're not being uh, a paid opposition, a controlled opposition to keep people in a, a lower vibration level of consciousness. Just like these these uh, commenters get on here and they either resort to name calling or ad hominem or responding to tone or contradiction just for the sake of contradiction, just to suck you in. It's the same shit as... A YouTube channel that just repeats itself over and over again on um, uh, a particular level of consciousness that's not even open to expanding or questioning the reality that is basically the same as the control grid as a whole. Um, so, yeah. And <clears throat> the, the bigger point beyond that is, uh, so this is, this pyramid right here is like, the uh the one lay the the how of the level of consciousness is interact um 
And the main point is that we missed the point. We missed the whole central point. We never challenge ourselves to get to these central points. We never challenge ourselves to observe the central points as a whole. And we never, um, we never really connect these points all together, <clears throat> excuse me, to see the bigger pictures of what's going on here. And a lot of these indigenous cultures like the Mayan, um, culture have already done this stuff in their own way in the past not saying it's completely whatever it's just um an, an example because the egyptians have similar similar storylines the same like there's there's too many similarities within these cultures um for people to only be using just the images that they have like the the to, for, to prove flat earth and all this other stuff and not go into the actual culture itself not go into the actual alchemy of the individuals itself only to use those images to either counter argue or contradict or refute never really going to the central point is actually the individuals the human beings who were um, interpreting this information as a whole that is the central point that I'm I'm referencing when I when I address either uh, particular individual channels or um, um, just uh, arguments as a whole or perspectives as a whole um, so basically <clears throat> this is that that pyramid that we were just looking at is um, an example of how we get caught up in these particular versions of our reality that are um, that are of a limited nature. So you can understand this is the Mayan calendar, uh, like the level stages of consciousness, how they perceive. Um, like what is happening overall within the human relationship and the, the expansion of consciousness and the whole integrating of 2012 stuff and all this. And um, so how I interpret this is that we have been we have been um, locked into this uh, <clears throat> nationalistic and planetary um, time frame understanding of our reality and not allowed to understand the um, the true law the true power the true uh, planetary understandings and uh, what it really means on an organic natural space of this shift so the when we shifted from the tribal the tribal time frame, the tribal mentality into the cultural mentality, and it was shifting into the nationalist nationalistic cycle. Um, I was seeing, I'm seeing this as like another like the the Iron Age, like the where these manipulative levels of consciousness snuck in to. Uh, our shift, our timing, and uh, created an artificial grid, an artificial version of law, an artificial version of reason, an artificial version of power, an artificial um, version of ethics, um, and have only told uh, a small percentage of the story in order to keep people in this limbo space. So we have this uh, organic shift of connecting with each other on a on a on a cultural space on a national space uh, on a planetary space of understanding uh, and interaction but we when it's told from the perspective of a control grid then that's when the control grid the ego version of our reality actually gets more vibrant in our perspectives and our um interactions with each other that we miss the whole point like we get caught up <clears throat> we get caught up in the 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 counter arguments and contradictions and the political spaces of the the how um the hows 
and um, not really going into the whys of the central points. We get caught up in that space and never really understand like the true shifting, the shifting, the true shiftings of our reality. So um, how I'm seeing is this is that uh, we've shifted from the cultural, we shifted from the national, um, but as these shifts have happened, they've been integrated and amplified within our perspectives in order to keep us at this lower vibration than what we are actually uh, allowed to or open to channeling within our experience. And then that, that extra energy actually gets channeled into stuff like artificial intelligence and technology so this is why this is why the 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 smartphones are out there to compensate for that distraction to compensate for that that energy um, because we have to do something with it we have to do something with these energies that are that are available to us organically excuse me that are available to us organically and um, this is where technology and transhumanism comes in in order to subvert our focus, subvert our uh, uh, organic evolution and uh, manipulate it into uh, an artificial evolution and uh, tell us that our next step of um, expansion is based upon uh, merging uh, the human with technology so <clears throat> this is why NASA was out there uh, so early on to set the platforms for the technological space of basically the control grid of the individual to open themselves up to technology and to close themselves off from the the actual understandings of what the indigenous people already knew of their cosmo cosmology and all this other stuff and this is why i focus so much on these individual channels who don't allow themselves to open up to actually what the cultures were speaking on what these creation myths were speaking on so you say like oh yeah the flat earth is is opening a lot of people up to their creator and believing in in um, a creative intelligence and and all this other stuff and then they use those images to only to prove their flat earth ideas never going into the creation the the actual in the people the heart of the people what they were actually saying they just use the images and that's no different than how the supremacy program works today where it just steals all the information and releases only a certain version of that information only to push an agenda that is beneficial for them. That's my point and why I made these last few videos which are directly related to the groups like the Flat Earth community and not even just them, but just this whole so-called truther community. Like there's these layers of truth. We have to understand that there's, there's, your truth is different from somebody else's truth until you start to integrate all of these truths and understand how they all fit together and then continue on that process and keep doing it. Keep being open to expanding this so-called truth to see how far this, first of all, the control grid goes. Secondly, into the spiritual understandings of what what we're really talking about when we talk about truth and all this other shit. Like it's it's deeper than the flat earth. You just you, if you just get into just like the flat earth, then you're just creating another idol. If you just stay there and you don't go into the actual. Uh, the people who have already lived and done this before. This shit is not new. There's nothing new here. So if that's true, then we have to understand time. We have to understand um, the, the people who are already here and what they already knew. And that can take an entire lifetime. So that's that's where I, where I get like caught up with uh, um, speaking on individual channels. Because it's, it's, it's a big issue because there are people who are limiting themselves in their um, 
their styles of or their their understandings as, as a whole because these channels have said nope this is it this is it look i made 500 videos about um you know the flat earth and that's it and then you know there's there's more than that and you you're smart enough to challenge yourself to go further than that and go into the heart of the people go into what these these uh the indigenous people already understood as far as their connection to this creative intelligence that people are so uh happy that they've um reconnected with because of the flat earth has guided them there in this whole shit like that whole thing go further don't just get there and stop and like what the, what's the point why even why even open the door to flat earth and even in the mandela effect stuff if you want to go further so people open the door of flat uh the mandela effect and then they just then that's why cern is there so when people start to see the 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 interactive space of uh the collective consciousness in the mandela effect then oh conveniently cern is there to say no cern we did it this is cern we're the we're the ones who are doing it it's 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 not it's not anything natural. It's not anything that's happening on its own or within human consciousness. The scientists did this. You know, it's CERN. They're, they're the ones who did this. That's fucking bullshit. It's no different than NASA. CGI. It's quantum CGI. That's what CERN is. Quantum CGI in reference to the, the Mandela effect. And NASA is just regular generic cgi for you to believe uh your your interpretation of the cosmology as a whole and flat earth channels who max out at just the scientism of flat earth then that's just like intellectual cgi it's the same shit it's just artificial artificial grids being created on top of artificial grids never really going into the depths of it so um that's basically all i wanted to share with this whole um ad hominem space and um i was gonna play this video actually i still might because it's a short video I and he's put it up here as education too, so it's it's good. He this this channel is one of my favorite channels, kind of around last. Really good information on speaking on like um, language and uh, it goes so much deeper than that. Uh, he's got a few good videos, a good um, set of documentaries. Um, I think they have called the Golden Web, I believe it is, and um, this ad hominem one. I just wanted to play the first part. It's only a six minute video, so you can see um, more of you know what this is and um, how we get caught up in in these uh, in these control grids. So not even be able to question your reality. This is what the whole political system if is based on. there is to be a broadening of perspective and the complete end to the use of conspiracy theorists as a counterfeit attack on those who are daring to question anything outside of the preordained official authority, then this short phrase needs to be integrated into the very fibers of one's inner intelligence. The opportunity of this moment is being thrown away and degenerated through the overuse of this manipulative psychological technique and tool. To call anyone stupid, slow, insane, screwed in the head, or a conspiracy theorist are all examples of ad hominem attacks. To laugh at anyone for any reason whatsoever during any serious inquiry into any information is an ad hominem attack. Mockery and insults prove nothing.
This is a methodology of mental offense that is used again and again because it caters to the bias and prejudices of the minds to which it is directed at, while simultaneously creating an onslaught of humiliation for those that this attack is directed against. So that's basically um, the point that I wanted to share with this. And this is only a six minute video, so you can watch the rest. Um, but really that's what this methodology of mental offense that he references is basically what we are uh, under, what the entire political power grid, the artificial reality system is based upon, um, is the distraction from the distraction from um, the distraction from the central points distraction we get caught up in these from all the way from the name calling to the ad hominem to the response to the tone of contradiction counter argument refuting refutation um, we get caught up in these these lower you can see be seen as like lower chakras at the same time and I'm just now seeing that those are the colors too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So we get caught up in the the lower spaces of interacting with our reality, and never really go to the central point or the crown of the issues. Because once you get to the crown, then you start to shake the foundations of everybody else's pillars that hold them up. Um, because every time we get to a crown of something, we have to destroy what we've already learned in order to um, create the space for what we haven't learned yet. Like you have to open up a space, like at least be open, because this is a constant learning process, not like consciously destroy something, but to be open to having everything that you've learned be challenged, be... Um, be open to letting go of what you think you know and move into a space of total openness to what else could be because once you get into worshiping what it is you think you know then you're basically just creating another egoic version of celebrating your your reality for uh, what you think it is and not really what um, it could be if you open yourself up more um, and so on and so on like we we're in this constant flux uh, it's an up and down thing like there was a time frame before the flat earth stuff where I didn't even know flat earth existed um, this information existed and not because I believed in NASA I didn't believe in NASA I just didn't know what that information meant like I didn't put the dots together to well I don't really trust NASA so what does that really mean like when you go into researching what that lack of trust actually means then there's more information there and then that's when all this other flat earth stuff starts coming in so same thing goes for CERN if you don't believe in these scientists or whatever then you know what does that mean that means this Mandela effect is connected to something else and something else and something else and if they conveniently put these um, these uh, these answers out there for you to just say this is what it is then you know you're just that's just another version of worship it's just another version of uh, another box um, so that's basically all I wanted to share was um, like for us to be able to challenge our reality go further into um, the the depths of it being able to let go of you know what it is we think we know and uh, really check ourselves check our egos check our um, our spaces of interaction and uh, really start to challenge ourselves to go further than these these uh, central points that we're comfortable with and start to be open open to uh, the central points of different groups of people different time frames anything and not really get caught up in just like the counter argument space and all that other stuff and the lower spaces of it all like this has its place but it's really 
only for a growth process, part of the, part of the growth process. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I could go into more of this pyramid, but I think I'll save that for a later video and uh, how like how I see this and specifically how I see this. But um, this is a good intro to that. So. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.